Hi, Big Tractor Power fans. This video comes to you from a Western Kentucky cornfield where a Miller Nitro 6300 self-propelled sprayer is applying fungicide to corn. This big machine is working out in a field with 12 foot tall corn, applying a fungicide that will allow the plant to thrive and not be damaged by summer funguses that can reduce the overall yield of the crop. This video will share the sprayer specifications and take viewers up into the cab to see the farmer's perspective of running in this tall corn. But first, let's head out to the field so you can see and hear this big Miller Nitro 6300 in action. As the sprayer is working its way across the field through the corn, typically when we're up in a machine like this, it's operated by GPS, and we can see here the farmer is actually steering the sprayer, and that's to stay in between the rows. And in order to help do that, we can look down here and see a box that's protruding out in front of the sprayer, and the operator wants to watch that and keep it right in between that 30 inch space in the corn. It starts to drift one way or another. The farmer just corrects to keep it right there in the center. That way, as little corn as possible is run over by the machine. Right now, the applicator is running the perimeter or headlands of the field. It's a 120 foot boom. This field was planted with 60 foot wide, 24 row, 30 inch. Kimsey planters, so the sprayer is able to cover two passes of what the corn planters seated in the ground. You might have noticed that the center section of this 120 foot boom mounted right in front of the cab is not applying fungicide. That is because there's a second center section boom mounted on the rear of the machine just behind the engine. The entire spance of the 120 foot boom is used when the boom is at a lower stance on the machine, applying chemicals like a herbicide to newly growing corn, soybeans, or winter wheat. Miller Nitro 5000 and 6000 series front boom self propelled sprayers are manufactured by CH Industrial in St. Nazians, Wisconsin. Miller Nitro sprayers are distributed by CH Industrial through Case IH dealerships. There is also a blue version of the front boom sprayers distributed through CH Industrial's New Holland line as the Guardian sprayer. The Miller Nitro 6300 was introduced for model year 2015 and remains a current model offered through Case IH dealers for model year 2020. The Miller Nitro 6300 front boom self propelled sprayer operating in this video is powered by a Cummins 6.7 liter QSB 300 horsepower engine. 
It features a torque track hydrostatic drive transmission with speeds available from 0 to 32 miles per hour. The sprayer is fitted with a 150 gallon diesel fuel tank and a 15 gallon diesel emission fluid tank for clean engine solutions. It has a ground clearance of 74 inches, which is helpful for moving through this 12 foot tall corn that is just tasseling out, and it has a wheelbase of 177 inches. It is equipped with a 120 foot spray boom and a 1400 gallon solution tank and in this application the sprayer can run 70 acres before it has to be refilled. The 120 foot boom features section control which means that it is able to shut off different sections of the boom to make sure that the product is only applied where the sprayer has not already traveled. You can see on the far right hand side of the boom that it is not applying and that is because the sprayer already covered those rows when it made the outside perimeter pass around the field on the edge of the trees. The applicator is ready for a refill so we'll see the boom fold up and then head to the truck to fill up the tank again. Riding with me out there? Yep. Okay. This farm uses a 1982 GMC General semi truck to haul the tender out to the field that carries the water and the application equipment. This is just a great looking truck. It's always my favorite to see each year out in the field. It has that classic General logo right on the side with the early 1980s GM color scheme here in the tri colors, big GMC logo right up on the grill with the five star logo right up on the hood. 
the truck has a tender trailer we can walk back here and see the big water tanks you can see there are 3,000 gallon tanks there's two of them that carry the water and then we have our application equipment here which mixes a solution and pumps everything over to the sprayer As the sprayer fills up, let's take a look at its design and overall structure. It's a very tall machine. We can see it has the spray boom that I mentioned up in the cab here in the back for corn fungicide application. There's the bar that fills in the center. We've got the engine compartment here on the back. You can see the Cummins 300 logo here.
see everything's controlled on the sprayer from the joystick that the operator has, the, all the functions of the boom, the speed of the sprayer, the application, all are controlled from this console and display screen over here to the operator's right. So when you're turning around, you can map it right there to see how many rows you need to come over. Well, that, say that line, that's mm -hmm. kind of what I'm, that's okay. what I use. That's where the, I picked out, see you can see the different varieties there. Mm -hmm. And we've got on our planters, we, when we split plant, we do 16 and 8. So I know that I'm in the center of where the tractor ran, and which is where I want to be. By knowing that those four rows are there because the other variety is the next thing. Okay. That so just the coloration. Yep, we can I'll see if I can zoom in here. You can see the coloration of the tassels up there. There is a little different height than the tassel are different. Technology is good, but actually looking at it helps too. That's right. As the sprayer turns around, we can watch on the map here to see the light green come right across that gray bar, and that's the sprayer actually turning on and beginning to apply each nozzle. I hope you've enjoyed spending some time out in this western Kentucky cornfield with the Miller Nitro 6300 self-propelled sprayer. Does your farming operation apply fungicide to corn? Is your farm using a high-profile sprayer like this Miller? Or do you use a helicopter or airplane to apply the fungicide? Let me know about it in the comment section below this video. And if you've enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube, where there's over 1,000 videos of farm machines in action. As always, thank you for watching.